This is Alex Kahn with RPOST. RPOST sends back to the sender the receipt. This is a registered receipt email. If we want to compare it to an Outlook read receipt, they're quite different. With RPOST, the receipt is sent back and returned to the sender 100% of the time when the service is used. It contains that proof of delivery, content, and time. No action on the receiver's end. And it can be verified or authenticated for the authenticity of the record. Now, what's important is we also, by default, we return the receipt back to the sender and put it right into a receipt folder so that it automatically is filed without having any extra steps for the sender. Let's look at that receipt in detail. The registered receipt comes back to the sender 100% of the time within two hours or less. There are different options the company can set up to store or locate these receipts. Number one is the local storage. This is by default. In the sender's Outlook, in the subfolder of the inbox, there's a receipt folder. Another option is a company storage. We can send a copy or reroute emails to a central mailbox, like receipts at yourcompany.com. Others still want a company online storage so that the sender may, if they want, do a search through a secure web archive and they'll be able to find receipts easily while it's not on their computer stored. When we break down the receipt into its components, at the bottom is the red text called the delivery audit trail. And this is the statement of fact of the delivery. This is what happened. And ARPOS gathers this information and using a complex set of proprietary algorithms translates that information so the sender knows what happened. In this example, one email was sent to four people. It was delivered to three of them, not delivered to the fourth. Now, because it's by email and because it's electronic, we don't just say it was delivered. We tell you what level of delivery. Now, they're all legally delivered, but the level of delivery is sometimes interesting and nice to know. For example, delivered to the mail server, or delivered to the mailbox, or delivered and opened. Delivery failure is, in many cases, the most important. Because many companies don't get bounce back notices, if you send an email and the receiver's mailbox is full, there's a bad address it was sent to, the email was too large for the receiver's mail system, or the attachment file may not be accepted, receiver's mail system down, you may not get any notice at all with a regular email. But those are some examples of why our post would give you a delivery failure. So our post does not rely on the bounce back notices. Because our post does not store a copy of the email and attachments on our system, this, the our post system is not an archive, the information must be stored somewhere. So what the our post system does is takes the email, the data of the attachments, and hashes and digital fingerprints and other authentication information, takes that information and digitally signs it and embeds it in the receipt as an attachment. So when people ask our post, well, how do you prove content if you don't keep a copy of the message? The answer is simple. You're right. We don't keep a copy of the message. You do. It's embedded in the receipt, which is returned to you. And it makes sense. If you think about FedEx, you know, they don't make copies at Kinko's and keep it in their back office. Nobody would use them. Our post is the same way. People don't like other parties storing emails, and therefore our post returns the receipt to the sender with all of the data embedded in there. Now, that's not to say the system cannot reproduce and produce the original message. It's very easy to do. If there's ever a challenge involving an email, you simply find the receipt, then you forward to the verification address. We keep it simple. It's right on the instructions are right on the receipt. Verify at rpost.net. And you send the receipt to rpost to verify and authenticate. It's a very familiar process because it's very similar to a courier service verifying a tracking number. For example, with a courier service, if there's a dispute or a challenge involving the delivery of a package, you simply maybe fax over the, the courier receipt to the disputing party. They'll go on that courier's website and type in the tracking number. And the result is the courier system will 
authenticate the tracking number, show it's real, it's not just a made up number, and show the audit trail across the country it took for that package to get delivered. With our posts, it's very similar. If there's a dispute, you forward the receipt to the disputing party or an arbitrator, and they may verify the receipt by sending it to the address verified rpost.net. And the result in this case is rpost sends back to the submitter an email called a receipt authentication. And this receipt authentication looks very similar to the registered receipt email, except for a few key differences. One is it has the entire audit trail attached to the receipt authentication. So to look at the differences between an RPOST receipt authentication audit trail and a courier's tracking number authentication audit trail, the only difference is one is physical uh, and one is virtual. But they do show the pathway across from sending to delivery. The other distinction is that RPOST also proves content. By submitting the receipt to the RPOST system, the system regenerates, based on the data embedded in the receipt, the original email and attachments. In addition, and really important, is that our post associates that very specific audit trail with that exact email attachment and body. So if somebody claims that you sent a number of emails to them and you got some and not others and you want to show a server log, you know, it's very difficult to associate an audit trail with the content. That's exactly what we're doing here. We're showing the audit trail and content associated with each other. So to summarize, when we look at what the receipt provides, it has all of the important components from delivery to being self-authenticating. It has ease of implementation, and it really has the whole package compared to other services out there. For any additional questions, certainly send an email to info at rpost.com.